Chris here with the Supercar Suspects. Hope you guys are having a great day. If you guys don't know what Monterey Car Week is, well, I'm headed there right now with this whole squad of people, hundreds of people and even thousands of people heading up to Monterey in the seaside area for Monterey Car Week. It's pretty much the biggest event all year long. Bunch of hyper cars and fuckboy shit. I, I like, I like fuckboy shit. We're maybe 15, 20 minutes into this drive right now, but I've already seen like 20, 25 cops. There's cops waiting in the middle with radars on the sides, hidden everywhere. So. I don't have a radar detector, everyone else does, so wish me luck. I'm not trying to get another ticket. Hello. How are you? Cop number 674. One more time. days out here in the middle of nowhere and yeah that's a casual like in hypersport right in front of me Slowest out of everyone. <laughs> yeah, I just stopped a Ferrari for 100 about 15 100. minutes. You aren't the only one. Here you go. 85. I was going the slowest out of everyone. I was literally the last person in the pack going the absolute slowest, and I still somehow managed to get a ticket. Let me pull these windows down before it fucks me more. I haven't seen a single person get pulled over except for me, of course, going the absolute slowest. I don't even know how I was going 85, but I'll take the ticket. By the way, guys, six years of driving. This is my first ever speeding ticket, first ever point on my record, anything of that sort. First time ever, and it happens to be going to Monterey. Good occasion, I guess, but shit timing. Dave texted us six minutes ago saying there's a cop pulling up onto the highway. I'm like, okay, I see him, three cars behind me. Everyone, of course, moves out of the way. He comes behind me. I'm going the absolute slowest, and I get the ticket. M4 flew by me at like 120, 130. The GT3 was holding like over 100 the entire time. Trust me guys, I know I get a lot of tickets, but none of them are for speeding violations or illegal stuff. It's just for car modifications. And this guy over here is having a ticket frenzy right now. He just gave a Ferrari ticket for going over 100. I guess 85 isn't too bad. I will take the ticket. Hopefully I don't get another one though. Okay, sir, by signing in the red box, you aren't admitting any guilt. You're just promising to see the process through. You gave me my first speeding ticket. No way. Yeah, I, I don't drive fast. I was holding 85, they're going... I don't want to say, but... Well, all good things must come to an end. Unfortunately, officer. Have an amazing day. Hey, you do the same. I'll try, man. I'm going to give you a warning on the tent, and I'm guessing you don't have a front license plate on here. But... I have three tickets for that right do now. Do you really? Yeah. Like parking tickets? No, like I got pulled over two times over and one it. time parking. Yeah, so I got, yeah, it's unfortunate. Well, have a good time, but just a word of warning, we got chippies waiting for you. Oh, I know, I've seen probably like 40 yeah. of that. But yeah, I, I was the last person in the group to go in the absolute slowest because I don't want to get a ticket and right. I mean, it happens. All right, you take care of it. You too, man. I mean, I guess he's a cool cop, but like, not really. I don't really care about the ticket. It's the fact that they're like 10, 15 minutes ahead of me now. And I got some work to do. We gotta catch up, boys. We're gonna hold 150 now. Fuck. 
Now that I think about it, I don't even know how he measured my speed. He was three cars behind me. He was never in front of me at any point. He was never next to me at any point. I didn't even bother asking because I figured I was probably going 85 miles an hour. But it looks like I'm not the only one getting tickets. Quick pit stop to get gas, and it just so happened to run into a 600 LT. Also, first time seeing one of these. Check this thing out. Meeting up with the rest of the crew right over here. Taking over in and out. Not the kind of takeover I like, but this works for me. Check out Mark's new wrap. It's like a highlighter yellow Super Trofeo Twin Turbo Huracan. Looks absolutely insane. Fun fact, that wrap only lasts three months. I just saw it on his Instagram. <laughs> the squad is deep, boys. A lot of McLarens out here. 600 LT, I think that's Parker, I don't know. Just like that, guys, quick in and out break, and we are out of here. We got Leon, wide body 458, chrome blue R8. Look at this thing. I was gonna say we're having a little gas station takeover over here, but this is by no means little. We got the entire, entire squad over here. There's only 50 of these in the world, and there's two of them right here. 1,000 horsepower package from Sheepy Build. <laughs> Look how beautiful, nice, and quiet this road is, man. Yeah, fuck, bitch! Fuck, don't fuck! Just got word there's a huge takeover going up up there. Check out all the smoke. I fucking wish. <laughs> For the last two hours, I've been following Leon's straight pipe squad of course, and I feel like I'm dead and like I'm on a road to heaven right now because it's been the best two hours of my life. Woo, what up? Somebody. You got a smudge. Hey, this, this rally's fucking amazing. I you love, love it? You. I love you. Hey, first, first rally. First rally. Thank, Thank you for coming. Right here. I'm glad we could have some fun together. What's up? How's it going, guys? You enjoying the rally so far? Smudge for them. Pick yeah, it's a big no, smudge. No, no, no. Give me, give me that. You do it. Ah. <laughs> I got you guys. Hang in there. Don't die on me! As I was saying, we're about 45 minutes away from Monterey right now. Final pit stop, absolutely insane. Everywhere we go, we're basically shutting it down right now. First time on a rally. It's amazing, I don't know why I don't do this more often. Check out all these cars. Also my first time seeing a pistol in person. So nice. Especially right next to this thing, of course. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, after 10 hours of traveling on the world's longest road to get here, we made it to Caramel, California. Only here you see a casual R34 on the street. This has been on Rodeo, we've yeah, seen this before. <laughs> oh my god, I've seen this in Beverly Hills before. <laughs> Jesus Christ, body kit worth more than my car. All right, now that we're all settled in, we can give a little house tour. Crib tour. We got a crib tour, we got Emilio over here. You know, some nice couches, good TV. We're gonna be playing some uh, 2K on in a bit. Now, for my room tour. You already know, I don't have a laptop, so I have to bring my entire Mac with me at this point. At the bed, you know, where all the magic goes down, me and my fucking self. Before we continue on with the rest of the house, I wanna give you guys a little advice on YouTube because a lot of people ask me, a lot of people wanna start a YouTube channel. Here's a little advice for you guys. I started off YouTube filming from my phone, from this computer right here I saved up for. It took me months to save up for this bad boy. We got it, I filmed with an iPhone camera. You don't need an expensive $5,000 Sony camera. You don't need an expensive ass computer. You don't need an expensive editing software that's gonna cost you $1,000 or $50 to $100 a month. None of that bullshit. 
save up, get one of these bad boys. If you have an iPhone, those camera qualities are absolutely insane now, especially the new ones, the 10. The 10's probably better quality than this thing you're watching right now. Here we have Victor's room. I don't really want to go in there because I, I, I don't know what he's doing. I don't know what he's doing. And here we have a wild Alex Choi pulling into our driveway. 